Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. A few days ago, we talked about this patent application that Aptera filed back in September of 2020. And this is talking about putting the uh, solar cells, arranging them at a diagonal 45 degrees off the longitudinal axis of the vehicle. And the reasoning behind that, according to this, was that it made it more flexible. So they said, since solar cells are generally planar and not very flexible in the direction parallel with the sides of the solar cell, solar cells lack durability and are prone to breaking. The general inflexibility of solar, cell along, solar cells along the primary axis can limit the design choices of the exterior of the vehicle, for example, making the exterior more rounded in an effort to reduce wind resistance, and can be limited by the inflexibility of the solar cells. So when I thought of, when I read this, I was like, "Eh, that sounds not real. Uh, that didn't seem like it makes a very big difference." Uh, and and first and first of all, the surfaces that they're putting the solar cells on are relatively flat. They're they're a little bit rounded here towards the edges, but not enough that I I would think that it would make a big difference. Um, so I thought this was uh, not not a great patent and that it really didn't make a difference. However, I checked it out and I think they're onto something and I'll show you why. Okay, so let's pretend that this is one of the solar cells. What they need to do on the Aptera is to, it's more of a rounded structure, like the light year and the other cars are mo mostly flat and they kind of bend in one direction, in one axis. And one of their big things is that it was gonna bend in two axes. But see, if you bend this, in this axis, in one axis, it becomes an arch. The whole thing becomes an arch, and it's it's very hard to bend it in this secondary in, in this secondary direction. Because it when you do it, it flattens this out. So making a secondary bend within this structure is extremely difficult. However, if you turn it like this, then the main structure of the arch is back here. It's in the middle part of it, and this part is not really supported by the arch. So you can make a secondary bend in here fairly easily. So you can make kind of a diamond shape. So you can bend the, ed the corners in all directions. So definitely bending it this way on the diagonal lets you bend it in two axes much easier than if you bend it this way. So there is a point to it. it actually, try it out for yourself. Uh, just make a square piece of paper and try it. Bend it like this and then try to put a secondary bend in it and then bend it diagonally and try to put a secondary bend in it. It, it works. So I think the, um, the patent actually makes sense. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Give it a try. All right, well, I hope uh, that was somewhat interesting. Um, thanks for watching guys and thanks as always to our supporting members. And uh, have a great day, everyone.